this year's team has pretty much mirrored last year's team. You could say that's a good thing, or you can say that's a bad thing. You could say eh, they should be better than this, but you could also say, look, if they're mirroring last year's team, look what last year's team did. Not too bad. So what I want to do right now, Lewis, is I want to go through last year's roster and compare it to this year's roster and hopefully boost your confidence going into these playoffs. Let's see. Since I know the roster from last year and this year, pff, yeah, it'll, it'll boost your confidence. <laughs> well, let's go with the players that were on the team last year that are on the team this year. Bam Adebayo. Is Bam Adebayo better this year than he was last year, in your opinion? Uh, I think he's better because he's starting now to get more comfortable with moving moving out a little bit uh, with his game, showing that he can knock down a three-pointer here and there. So I think he's a little bit better uh, in that sense. Yeah, I think he's better. He's got another year under his belt. He is starting to make some threes. He has kind of shown at some point that he can shoulder the team and just, you know, kind of take them as a leader. So I, I say Bam's a little bit better than this year than he was last year. Jimmy Butler. This is a tough one. Is he better this year or was he better last year overall? I'm going to go a push. Okay. Because he's been injured quite a bit. Uh, he still had, he didn't have that. Well, the 50 point game was in the playoffs, Yes, but uh, he's had some good games. He's had some great games and then he's had some games where he just get rebounds and assists and we still win. So he's basically, I would say push because he's doing like he did last year, whatever it takes to win. So. Yeah. I think you're putting it nicely by saying a push. I'll say he's underwhelmed this year. I say he's not the Jimmy he was last year, but the huge question mark is, if he turns on playoff Jimmy, if there is enough in the tanks yeah. for playoff Jimmy, well, then all is forgotten. So this regular yep. season, I think the injury has hampered him. I think hanging out with Neymar and those other guys, that's kind of hampered him. Him riding horses in the middle of Miami and doing music videos and doing all. It's hampered him a little bit. He has maybe a little bit underperformed this season. You're not getting the same Jimmy. But then again, it's a huge question mark. Like I said, if he turns on playoff Jimmy, starts scoring 40, 50 points a game in the playoffs, well, then there you go. You have the great, the same Jimmy Butler that you had last year. Tyler Hero, is he better right now? And then the whole body of the season has been kind of weird with the injuries, but is he better right now than he was last year at this point before the injury in the playoffs? That's another tough one. Uh, I would say he's not better. Oh. Because if I'm not mistaken, he didn't play as many, he played more games last year, I thought. Right. Or it, just, it just feels like it. I, I haven't even looked at no numbers, but it feels like he's played more games last year. So I'm going to say, uh, yeah, last year was a little bit better. I'll say this year, at this point, the way he's playing, with the confidence he's playing, and the way he's come back from the injury, you're getting a better, if healthy, Tyler Hero than you were last year. Now, every time he jumps, stops, or does anything, I hold my breath because it seems like he's made of glass. But nonetheless, I feel as though you got a little bit of better over Tyler Hero, so we know you got a better Bam. At least I feel as though we have a better Tyler. Jimmy Butler, who cares? It's all about playoff Jimmy. Nikola Jovic, that's got to be a no-brainer, correct? Yeah, that's definitely better this year. Way better this year. He's been balling lately, too. Yeah, he has been. I like that he's in uh, the starting rotation, actually. I, I think he's a good fit there, right there. So we know Nikola Jovic is a better version of himself this year than he was last year. Last year, he barely played. He was in and out of the G League. The beginning of this year is kind of in and out of the G League. He's now kind of solidified himself as somewhat of a starter. He's coming into his own, even though he's young. Absolutely great. Caleb Martin, is he better this year or was he better last year? Funny thing, I think he's better this year. Oh, wow. The reason being because last year going into the playoffs, you expected nothing from Caleb Martin. Right. And you, you, you should have won the Eastern Conference. Right. You, you, you didn't expect much from him until he got a couple games into the playoffs. Going into it, this year, I think, you expect him to do, to do the same thing he did last year. Yeah, the injuries kind of hampered him too. I'll say you've gotten a lesser version of Caleb Martin this year simply because of the injuries, but if he can kind of come around and be that wild card, that defender, that good player that we expect him to be, that he was in the Eastern Conference Finals where he probably should have been MVP, but they always give it to your biggest player pretty much, Jimmy Butler. So, okay, Duncan Robinson. Now, this is an interesting one, Lewis. You're going to have to qualify it a little bit. Duncan Robinson, better version overall this year than last year, correct? Or the yeah, past two years? Uh, yes, we, we, that's not a debate. But right now? Well, because he's only hurt right now. Right, he's got the back. That's the only reason why you would say that, because he's hurt. Because remember, earlier this year, he was uh, taking, back, taking the ball to the hole, shooting floaters, 
uh, getting assists. He hadn't done that before. He just kind of was a hovered around the three point line. And this year, I think he definitely has done better. But like you said, like we said earlier, he had his back. So, eh. right now, I'm worried that okay, yeah, no, right now you pretty much have the same Duncan Robinson you had last year. You think? Pretty much, he was not that big of a deal. I mean, in, towards the later end of the playoffs, he started getting better. Right now, he's a little stiff, of course, with the injury, but not all that much to me. A wash. Now, a couple other guys. Kevin Love. Do you feel as though he's better or worse this year? Worse. Oh, you feel worse? Yeah, I feel worse. Uh, again, injuries. He's right. been in and out a, a lot. Uh, having like when he shoots those threes, sometimes are you confident that they're gonna go down? Or are you just saying in your head, "Oh, that's a make." Yeah. No, no, not really. Yeah, he's so, had a really off year, but yeah. I just believe he's an old, vet, wily veteran that's going to find a way to yeah, give you some games yeah. here and there, steal yeah. a game here and there. I think he's he going to do the, the Dwayne Wade thing where he picks and chooses his spots. He's got to now. He's at that point in his career. Yeah, but not, not like how Dwayne Wade did it, but just. Right. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> no, yeah, yeah, we're not comparing Kevin no, Love no, no, to Dwayne no, no. Wade. I, I don't want to do that. I, do, ooh, I will never do that. Got an easier one for you right now. Haywood Highsmith, better or worse better. this year? Much, much, much better. better. Just, yeah, and not, it's just not even close. Better. another year, a seasoning, a yeah. program. Organization. Uh, you could put him in front of anybody. He could pretty much slow him up a little bit for you. Right. Now, pretty much direct trade. Kyle Lowry, not on the team this year. Let's just say replacing him, Terry Rozier. Better. You're much better. Better, yeah. Because remember, Kyle was getting like six, averaging six, seven points uh, during the regular season and the playoffs. So, eh, Lowry, you're a little bit. Uh, Lowry. Uh, hey, Kyle Lowry. Rozier, you're a, little, you're a little better. Yeah, Kyle Lowry. So you're, I think you're much better with Terry Rozier than you are Kyle Lowry. And I don't want to hear, you know, well, he has playoff experience. Well, he was known as a bust in the playoffs for a long time. So, well, not only that, we don't care about no experience. We need somebody that's going to uh, score the ball when they go in them eight minutes of, of, of a drought that they usually do. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Now, you got Patty Mills, who's basically replacing Gabe Vincent. Are you better or worse? worse yeah gave vincent at this point last year now i don't want to talk about yeah, what he did with the Lakers. yeah like don't talk about that now but, but what he didn't do last with the yeah last year at this point yes i think uh gabe was doing was a little bit better gabe vincent was a little bit better at this point last year than patty mills once again though patty mills has shown in points that he can make things happen jaime jaquez jr basically replacing max Struess. better or worse Ooh. Ooh. Now, remember, Jaime did have 20 Ooh. points last night. But before Ooh. that, you had a whole lot of single-digit games from Jaime, who looks like maybe yeah, the but, long NBA season is starting to take its toll. But remember, too, one, he's a rookie. Right. That's the Two, uh, before this little stretch, he was actually doing pretty good. It wasn't until he got hurt for a little and set out those five, six games, and then um, Jovic took, took his spot. Because remember, he was starting for a while, too. Mm -hmm. So... Oh man, that's a good one. I'm a, I'm gonna be politically correct and say push. You're gonna go with the push. Uh, play it safe. Yeah, I'm gonna play it safe. I'm just gonna be real with you. Max Struess at this point last year was better than. I didn't want to say it. Better than Jaime yeah. Hawkins Jr. I, I feel as though Max Struess has a little more experience now. That does not excuse Max Struess for going over two games in the NBA Finals. That's what got you out of town. Partially, Jaime. It just feels like he kind of hit the wall. And rightfully so. Four years in college, used to a certain type of season, a certain length. Oh, there was a couple of games, but last night was a positive sign. To go back to what you said earlier about that, uh, the, the scenario, the six seed scenario, mm -hmm. we, we need that break, that one week off. We yeah, need it we so need, bad. Yeah, that, that's even not more. only for, for for Jaime, but for Duncan as well. Like a couple other guys you named, they they need that uh couple of days off. Omer Yurtsevin, basically, man, I mean, you could kind of pick who takes over for Omer Yurtsevin last year, but let's say DeLon Wright takes over for Omer Yurtsevin. I mean, all I can say is push. I mean, hmm. yeah. I mean well, no, no, because Yurtsevin didn't play hardly any. Right, that's what I'm saying. Like, yeah, but DeLon Wright played, a, he plays in a little bit. A little defense. He played a little going. defense. Yeah, I, I go DeLon. I go DeLon. Udonis Haslam no longer on the team. There is no replacing UD. And I mean, to be honest, he didn't play very much. So you can't really <laughs> compare him to anybody else. But now you look at the rest of the depth on the team. You got a Jamal Kane. Thomas Bryant, who I thought was going to be a great scorer for the team, hasn't really done anything. Jamal Kane. Still better than that. Josh Richardson hurt. I think Josh Richardson is an improvement, but availability is the best ability. Yeah, he, but he was doing good, though, until he, until he messed up his shoulder. He was doing doing a little bit better. He's a moot point. 
So overall, after we've gone through everything, of course, what else have you lost? You lost Cody Zeller. Cody Zeller, he can give you something here and there, maybe a little bit. But I mean, are you are you crying over spilled milk? I mean, the Pelicans aren't mm-hmm. loving Cody Zeller, or maybe they are. I don't know. Thomas Bryant, that's what he does. I do like Thomas Bryant, though. But maybe Thomas Bryant, though, he has won a championship last year with Denver. Maybe he, he gets you a couple good minutes in a game. Maybe Bam gets in some foul trouble. He gives you a quick six, seven points. He can do that. He's got good defense too. Yeah. He's got a little and he's got some size and he's got other things like that. Of course, you lose Dwayne Dedman. Dwayne Dedman wasn't even on the team. They had cut him by that time of the playoffs. So overall, looking at these teams, Victor Oladipo, once again, he was hurt early, and you know, that was it for him. Overall, looking at these two teams, last year's team compared to this team, if you had to choose which roster you wanted to ride with, which one would you be more confident with, Lewis? That is a wonderful question. I go this year. Yeah, I'm gonna I'll go, go this, this year. year. It's it's, but, it's a tough it's question, tight. but I, yeah, it, it is really tight. But I I think I'll go this year. The reason I go this year is for the reasons of well, Duncan Robinson's played better, but he's hurt. That would make it so much easier if it yeah. was over. Terry Rozier is the main reason. The, the injuries to me is what makes it close. The injuries this year, even though last year they had some, but the injuries this year makes it a little bit closer. To me, Terry Rozier is the reason. Bam is Bam. Jimmy, I've got to expect him to be playoff Jimmy. At least I have to hope he's going to be playoff Jimmy. Tyler, I think, is a little bit better this year than he was last year at this time. Jaime Huckes Jr., Max Drews was probably a little bit better. Nikola Jovic, much better this year. Caleb Martin, hey, Caleb Martin's been hurt. I figure pretty much a push. Patty Mills, okay. Duncan Robinson, we'll see what happens. But Terry Rozier is that guy that has really kind of made the lineup that much better. Now it comes down to, okay, so maybe you're a little bit better this year roster-wise. If you can get healthy, stay healthy, maybe get that week off. That'd be great. (laughs) So we're hoping you get into the postseason and you got one more hope that you need to have, and that is playoff Jimmy makes a strong appearance. Because without playoff Jimmy, Lewis, let's be honest, you're in a lot of trouble. 